Hi folks, my name is Steve Fierstead. I'm the founder of the Back to Nature Wellness Center in Litchfield, Minnesota. I'm a board certified traditional naturopath. Uh, I've been practicing natural medicine for about 30 years in Litchfield. Um, you can find us at backtonaturewellnesscenter.com. Uh, our phone number is 320-693-2541. We've been talking about plants, wild green plants lately. And uh, this time we're going to talk about plantain, which is probably one of my favorite plants because this stuff is absolutely healing and for so many different rays. There's actually 34 different species of these plants. That's, that's why I've got some notes because I can't remember all that stuff, folks. Uh, now, one of the things when you're identifying it, because you can see this is a pretty big plantain leaf that we've got here. You don't normally quite see it that big, but where I live, we encourage our weeds to grow rather than spraying them because we know how valuable they are. But one of the things, you're, a lot of times you're going to see it growing along the edge of a driveway, and it's probably going to be about this size. But, you know, if you take care of it, you can get these nice, big, healthy plants. One of the things that you can do to help make sure that it's plantain is plantain has these little stringy fibers in it. So if you pull it apart, it's really tough, too. Look at that. It's got all those strings. That's, that's a sure way to identify the plantain. Now, this plant is... Wow, it's, it's so amazingly nutritious. The, the leaves and the seeds, both green and ripe, are good for you. Uh, this stuff is a blood purifier, folks. It's full of micronutrients. Uh, it can be used as a poultice. Uh, a few years ago, I had a man come to me with an infection in the end of a finger. He did that infection for a long time, been on antibiotics for so long, and the medical doctors had finally told him that they're probably going to have to amputate his finger. And I walked out of my office and walked across the highway and over by the railroad tracks and found a plantain plant growing back there. I came back in and said, you got this growing at home? And he said, well, sure, yeah, that's all over by the driveway. And I said, well, when you get home, take a bunch of it and wash it off and throw it in the food processor and make a big gobby mulch out of it and put it around the end of your finger and wrap it in saran wrap and take it off every day and keep doing it until the infection's gone. Now, he had this infection for quite a few months in his finger, and it took four days to get rid of it because plantain will pull poisons out of your body, folks. And if you eat the plant or drink the juice, it's actually going to help purify your blood. Um, the American Indians called this plant life medicine. Now, that, that's powerful. That's, they knew how good this stuff was for you. Uh, when you look at the fact that it's high in protein, calcium, iron, and micronutrients, it can actually help increase your bone density. Well, with all we've got going with osteoporosis with people nowadays and osteopenia, eating this plant every summer as it's growing or juicing it is an amazing thing that you can do for your bone density. Um, in 1652, it was written uh, in a pharmaceutical text that plantain is a wonder drug that cures issues from gout to broken bones to arthritic joints, muscle swellings. Now when you look at the plantain seeds, uh, these things grow really close to the ground. They kind of lay in the ground like this. But in the summertime as it flowers and seeds, there's a spike that'll probably be about this tall. And that's the plantain seeds. Now green, they're very, very good for you. Uh, when they dry, they can be uh, ground into, uh, they're very mucilaginous, they get a little slimy, but they're really, really good for you. They can uh, keep your bowels regular. Uh, when you look at the fact that it's been proven now, plantain seeds are antibacterial, antiseptic. They're, diure ant they're a diuretic, they're an expectorant, they're a febrifuge, they can get rid of parasites. They're a hemostatic, they can help stop bleeding, and they're an ophthalmic, so they can actually help drain for your eyes. And you see people, I see people now that have uh, problems with uh, tear ducts and whatnot. And plantain on a, on a continuous basis is something that can actually help clean that out and help it improve over a period of time. Now let's, let's before I quit with this, let's talk about something. You're lost in the wilderness, right? Okay. You can eat these leaves. That's all you need because everything you need to stay healthy for months and months is in these leaves. Um, you're not sure that your water in the wilderness is going to be good. So you take these and you crush them up really good and you put them in a pan of water for about four hours. They're going to help purify your water. Um, you uh, put them on insect bites. It'll pull the venom out of insect bites, whether it's mosquitoes or bees or whatever. Uh, and, and it goes on and on and on. So uh, Timothy Scott in his book, Invasive Plant Medicine, talks about plantain, how it can protect the body from unwanted bacteria, parasites, viruses due to its high antimicrobial nature. It's high in antioxidants, high in micronutrients. It's good for chelating heavy metals out of your body. 
folks, this is an amazing plant. And now it's something that uh, you, can, you can look this up, you can Google it, you can learn more about it, but now you know how to identify it. You know what it looks like growing along your driveway, uh, all these different places, and you can make use of this because it's really, really good for you. Next time around, I think we're going to talk about thistles.